Aloha. My name is Rich Von Wellsheim. I'm here from Whispering Winds Bamboo Cooperative. Uh, we have a 20-acre uh, clumping timber bamboo plantation on the island of Maui. Uh, I'm here today at the Hawaii chapter of the American Bamboo Society's annual bamboo festival. And uh, I'm offering testimony in support of creating uh, a pathway, if you will, for bamboo to become accepted for as a building material in the county codes, if not in the entire country. And so anything that you folks could do to uh, pave the way in terms of uh, support for more research and testing, or allowing the bamboo to be used in outbuildings and outstructures that uh, require a building permit now, but uh, are simple enough that our, our joinery techniques could suffice. I commend you for uh, allowing bamboo to be used in your uh, recycling high five buildings all around the islands. I think that's a perfect first start for uh, using bamboo as a building material. Currently, the way a, a, a material becomes a structural an approved structural component in the uh, building permitted structure is to go through rigorous testing at a wood accredited wood testing lab and then uh, further certification by the International Code Council. Uh, we don't have such a, an accredited testing lab on the islands. Uh, I would encourage you folks to, to take steps toward uh, helping the lab at the University of Hawaii at Manoa become accredited and uh, perhaps doing some funding to have some of our clumping species of bamboo uh, run through the ICC certification as well. Any little step would be appreciated in that process. It's, it's long and arduous, uh, but we do have uh, quite a, a good inventory of clumping timber bamboos all over all the islands. Testing labs get accredited by an independent third-party organization, the International Accreditation Service, the IAS. We'll come into it, uh, an existing lab to make sure that the equipment used is up to snuff and, and uh, calibrated correctly and also that the protocols and methods for testing are fouled uh, according to the, the, the standards of, uh, adopted and that the tests uh, are appropriate for the ICC to comment on. So uh, the lab at the University of Hawaii at Manoa does have the testing equipment uh, necessary to do some of these tests. Uh, accreditation is simply a matter of having this third party come in and, and uh, review and inspect uh, the existing lab and then uh, you take the necessary steps to, to upgrade or make sure the methodology is being performed. So that would be a, a perfect good start to uh, having a local facility capable of beginning to, to test our bamboos and other wood species. So I've spoken with the um, the engineering department at the University of Hawaii Manoa, Dr. Ian Robertson, and uh, he's very interested and willing to have his lab there uh, accredited and, and supportive of the endeavor. So it seems that uh, really it's just an issue of money and, and political will. My name is Dean Johnston. I've been a resident of the islands of Hawaii for 28 years. Um, between the years 1998 and 2002, I uh, studied for and received my Master's of Architecture from the University of Hawaii at Manoa. Um, the years 2000 through 2002, I prepared and uh, completed my Master's thesis, which was the structural testing of six uh, timber species of bamboo uh, with uh, assistance from the College of Engineering at the University of Hawaii. The six species I tested included four species from Hawaii and two from Vietnam. The two species from Vietnam were the species which uh, Bamboo Technologies at the time, now, Bam now Bamboo Living, uh, were using and continue to use for their uh, construction of residences and, uh, and other uh, architectural products. The, um, during that period, during the year 2000, uh, uh, Deepak Shrezda of the Washington State University was performing the, uh, the ICC uh, approved testing of Bamboo Sustenostachia, uh, which was also one of the species which I tested, Bamboo Sustenostachia coming from Vietnam. Uh, my results for the four Hawaiian species and the two Vietnamese species uh, mirrored the results of Deepak's testing at WSU of Stenostachia, Bamboo Sustenostachia. Um, we also did uh, insect treatment testing 
uh, at the College of Plant and Environmental Protection Sciences with Dr. Kenneth Grace, uh, one of the world's uh, leading termite and invasive insect experts. Um, the testing we ran of the four of four of the species, including Bambusus denistachia, all showed that the uh, the treatment protocols using uh, disodium octavory tetrahedron or uh, uh, timbor, which we use here in here in Hawaii, which was used in Vietnam, uh, are highly successful at providing insect resistance to the bamboo as well as fire resistance. Um, a lot of testing has been done on these species, and uh, they've proven themselves again and again to be uh, properly harvested and properly uh, preserved to be highly uh, strong and durable building materials. The, uh, uh, at current time, there's only one species of bambusa, of bamboo, Bambusa stenostachia, which is approved by the, uh, uh, by the building officials in the United States because it's been tested under ICC criteria. The, um, the four Hawaiian species that I tested are all equally strong or stronger and deserve to be included with uh, Stenostachia. Uh, there's a few uh, challenges to, to, to using the bamboo in that it should be uh, harvested at, in the range of three to five years old and, uh, and it does need to be insect treated to be, uh, uh, to be durable. Um, uh, with that aside, um, I think that it would be an, a fabulous uh, product for Hawaii in that it grows, uh, some of the best bamboo in the world grows here, um, and we, uh, it provides jobs, it could create an industry that Hawaii could be a net exporter of timber quality bamboo to the U.S. and, and uh, all around the Pacific. Uh, there's nowhere in the mainland which has the capability of growing the quantity and quality of bamboo that Hawaii does. So. This is one place where we have a chance to be a real leader in an agri crop, which, uh, which would be quite exceptional. This part, pop out this part. And then this part is edible. When you catch that, that's the part. Peeling the leaf covers off the sheet. So this part that's green is a little bit too tough, but you can I'll cut it off. That part should be able to. So you boil them 20 minutes or more, 25 minutes, and then mm -hmm. pour the water off, then slice them up thin, and then put them in with the juices and the flavors of your stir fry. In there. The edible part of the shoot, first you have to chop it near where the thing is. We're looking for the apical meristem, the growing part in the middle here. So we'll cut this off. A big cleaver works good. So this is the fast way to divide it and get out the good part. So we separate this and take out the edible part. Take it home. Is it how, how bitter is it? Oh, it's bitter right now. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend eating it now. You have to boil it. Well, I just bought some nastus. Oh, that's supposed to be one that you're supposed to be able to eat, eat off like the a hook. piece of celery. In Japan, they have forests of bamboo, and it's usually moso, their favorite shoot. And so they walk around on all the duff and the litter in there, and they try to feel these with their feet. They walk around in tobies and they can feel the points. When they feel a point, they dig around, and it's supposed to be the sweetest if it's down the ground covered. So it's like getting white celery or white asparagus. So they dig down there and cut it off, and they boil that. And so it. you didn't dig down to get these? No, in Puna, we don't have much to dig down into, except okay. rocks. Well, if you were head dirt, would you dig down usually, to where it goes lateral? Usually, the clumping bamboos are just right on the side and not too much out of the ground. The running bamboos stay underground more. Aloha, my name is Le Manapelton and um, 
my company that I build and design and farm and everything else with bamboo is Eco-Terrestrial Concepts and it's on the website dot com. So what we're about is demonstrating the potential of bamboo as an excellent alternative building material I consider it to be superior. I've dropped everything else I was doing in my life to prove it, which I've been doing for the last 12 years. This is our workshop facility, and here we do all the processing of the bamboo poles uh, from the time they're harvested until they're in a structure. And this is a many step procedure, but every step is important. Bamboo is an excellent material if it's used properly. If it's not, well, the results show themselves. Um, I intend to demonstrate how best to use it, and I do that with a building system that I've invented over the past 12 years. It started in 1999. It's a metal joinery system. So, uh, what I have to say about bamboo is it doesn't get better than this. This is good for Hawaii, but especially the Big Island. Because we have the space to grow the bamboo, it grows very quickly. It's an excellent building material. There's so many benefits to using it. Uh, benefits for the environment and also benefits for the people that wind up with a beautiful natural structure in the end that they can depend upon for generations to come. I started my bamboo journey in South America with Simone Velez. He's considered to be the top guy in the world as far as building what he designs and so I was very lucky to be able to work with, with his building professionals but I brought back that knowledge to Hawaii and realized very quickly that it was too labor intensive and too expensive to build so I invented a new system of metal joinery that is um, for user friendliness, it's for engineerability and uh, it's fun to build with. What can I say? It's, it's a lot of fun to build with. Very versatile. Anyway, uh, bamboo is, is something that I got into because it's very much needed here. We don't need to import building material. It can replace wood in so many different ways. I love trees. I love wood. Bamboo can save uh, lots of forests. It's a very important plant. Uh, for us to utilize, and especially for building here on the Big Island. It's lightweight, doesn't require heavy machinery. This is, this is a shop where we process the poles that we grow ourselves to build the buildings that we build to demonstrate how good it is. Um, I think uh, we have about five species that we're growing locally. I don't like to just use one species. I think that's a mistake. So we've tested about five species, and they all uh, outperform the species that's now currently being used, uh, permittable, uh, from Vietnam. Uh, it's a bamboo we really don't want here. Our, uh, the ones we've chosen are the best, and the leader is probably, um, not probably, it's world, uh, internationally accepted as the best is Guadua and Gustafolia. I think we need a reasonable building code so more people can work with the county, including me, to implement a code that makes sense for our climates and our place in the, on the planet and for an overall sustainable uh, environment that isn't so dependent on stuff from everywhere else. I've been encouraging the Department of uh, Research and Development to look at bamboo and take it into consideration for that purpose. Um, in a rural setting, I think uh, it's appropriate for experimental structures. I build mostly portable structures uh, that <laughs> come in handy when you, have, when you live on a volcano that goes off regularly. Uh, so uh, they're very strong, but they can be uh, taken down and moved somewhere else easily. So that way, at this point in our development, we do um, not require uh, building permits for our structures. However, uh, I think it's very important to 
for the county to look at a provision in a building code that would allow um, appropriate technology, be, but alternative technology to be used in low density rural settings where we can get a handle on uh, our future, a, a sustainable future. And bamboo is the best. Uh, there's still always be a use for lumber, but bamboo is the best. These poles are cured out uh, at least a year and they turn this pale color. They're all very high quality timber bamboo that we've tested. And then once they've been painted, they look more like this. These have been painted one coat and we give them two coats of the best outdoor paint um, that I can find so that they're durable. They'll last generations with uh, good quality surface preparation. 800 square foot structure for the county environmental management for the recycling uh, functions that they have. So this uh, structure will be about 26 feet wide and uh, almost 40 feet long and about 15 feet high. So it's we had a four day, 80 mile an hour wind event that one of our structures went through. The tarp had some problems with the structure, they're beautiful. This is um, the finished product that's been in use for about a year for the purpose of bottle redemption. And you can see that uh, it's holding up rather well and uh, we expect to get many, many years of use out of it. We're working on number seven in the shop now. So this is number five and, as it, and it was built one year ago.